Hi, welcome to another video. I don't do many gardening videos nowadays, but um, this isn't really a garden video of such because you're not gonna see any action, but it's the end of an era, a little bit. Um, we've been doing this village green, I'll show you it in a minute, for 10 years, do you reckon? 10, 11 years. Um, and how it went, the house right next to us, he rents it and he got us to do his back garden and then he got us to do a bit around the side. Then he got us to do the top for the green, then the rest of the green. And, and he the has, neighbor's front. And the neighbor's front. And he has paid us to do that for all them years. But the green isn't his, so it belongs to the farmer. So they've been getting away with that for like 10 years because he's been paying us to do it. So they've been getting their green cut really nice. Uh, I've tried to get and it low as I can. that has like events as well, don't they? Yeah. They're, they're, so they like it to look They're nice. farmers. <laughs> they're, they're not poor. Well, um, this year, um, he did ask were we going to come and cut the green last week, I think it was. Uh, because they had some event or something on. But they've just um, bought a brand new John Deere mower, £20,000 or near on, um, he tells us. Um, so I said, well, it would do us a favour if they did the first cut. So they did that, but they only skimmed the top, really. Well, I've come back today to do our normal um, green cut with my Kubota G2160. It's a 21 horsepower. But when the green is long, the grass is long on the green, it is a struggle. And today it was starting to overheat. Um, a bearing's bad on it. Um, the belt broke last year. Um, that's £150 uh, to replace that. Um, I've got the bearing stuff. But to be honest, I've had a bit of enough of cutting the green. It grows really quick. It keeps the moisture in, so it's quite wet. It's like old meadow grass, you know, real thick grass. It's some boggy areas yeah. as well. And today, I was struggling to cut it because it was, a, they, even though they cut it last week, sort of topped it, just skimmed it really. Um, I'm struggling to, to do it with the Kubota. Uh, a lot of it is because the deck is set quite low. Even the highest height is quite low because I set it for gardens. Um, I could probably make it go higher, but... Anyway, when I saw them go past with their brand new £20,000 um, John Deere and then my little Kubota struggling, I thought, I'm going to have a word with the customer and say that, you know, can't they do it? It is really their green. Can't they do it? And, um, yeah, he went along with that. We've actually spoke to the to the people and um, they thanked us for doing it. And the good thing is we've only got to do his garden now and a few other little bits and we're going to get paid the same when we did the green so i haven't got to put the trailer on which gets me down every week because i keep it up my dad's and i have to pick it up it's the only job i use it for now i have to pick it up i have to leave home pick it up come back do the job because the job's quite near our house yeah go back it's 28 miles uh, and about an hour on a good day hour and a half and the amount of time you've gone up your dad's to pick it up and something's got yeah. a flat tire or it's not working well, you know, if things go wrong yeah it can the job can even take an hour hour and a half two hours it has done in the past sometimes you, we can do it in like 45 minutes 50 minutes it just depends but anyway now i'm going to get paid for just doing the garden which we can do at our leisurely pace and um yeah, we haven't got to think about the green no more. So really, in a way, my trailer and my ride-on is a bit redundant. I shall hang on to the ride-on a moment and the we trailer. We do use the trailer to pick up. Yeah, trailer's handy because it's got the cage on. It's a 10 yeah. by 5 and I can pick up stuff in it. And at the moment, as I haven't got a van on the road, it's very handy. Yeah, I'm using it a lot more. So I won't be selling none of it yet, but the ride-on really won't get used this year apart from my dad using it. Um, but I shall just do the bits and pieces. I shall do the deck bearings and all that and just get it nice. And I've bought a collector for it. I've never used. I paid about £500 for a collector and I've never used that. So I'm going to sort of set up for gardens if I be fed up with the gardening. But if I decide I'm going to carry on for a few more years, um, I might just try and move over to more just grass and then if that's set up with a collector on it, it'll just make things easier if it's like for gardens. I'm not going to do rough village greens on it, it just, it just ruins them unless you've got something really made for it. Even though this is classed as commercial, the one that they've just bought is just on another level. I think mine when it was new was probably what, about 10 grand and theirs is um, yeah, near on 20. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, everything's worked out well for that and it's been stressing me. I've been wanting to sort of get rid of the green I've just it's been getting on my nerves for quite a few years and i thought today everything was going wrong the deck bearing the overheating 
and then them going past with a brand new shiny green John Deere mower. I thought, yeah, enough's enough. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a word with the customer, and yeah, he's gonna pay us the same for just doing the garden. So result, Laura, result. That in front of us is village green. I'll try and zoom in a bit and see. I've got it quite short today. Doesn't really need to be as short as that, but that's how I like to get it. Yeah, that side there, I couldn't cut because the deck bearing was making so much noise. So um, they're gonna finish it off today and then I haven't got to do it no more. So yeah, I, in a way, I'm a bit sad to not do it again, but yeah, um, 10 years and they've got the machine much more suited for the job. So, and it's their green at the end of the day anyway. And look, we timed that right, didn't we? There you go. So I'm going to leave the video there. I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, yeah, a bit of a result for us. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So thanks for watching and bye for now.